Narcissa Malfoy was an avid supporter of Lord Voldemort. She stood by her husband at Lucius as he carried out the Dark Lord's work and was even involved herself. Yet, she's never received the Dark Mark. The question is, why not? How come Narcissa Malfoy never became a Death Eater? Before Voldemort's rise to power, Narcissa was taught to value the importance of blood purity within the magical community. It's something her husband's family also believed in. The House of Flack and the House of Malfoy were two of the most well-known and respected wizarding families stretching back centuries. So it's clear that when Lucius became associated with other students of similar beliefs to his, Narcissa would not be one to oppose. She married him and she really did stand by him in all of his future endeavours. So when Voldemort actually did come to power and Lucius did join him, becoming one of the original Death Eaters, Narcissa was also included within this circle, yet she never received the Dark Mark. And this seems very odd, to be in such a group but not display its emblem. Why is this so? Why did Narcissa not receive the Dark Mark? And most importantly, how come she never became a Death Eater? The first reason is the actual meaning of the Dark Mark itself. It's a life commitment. This means that nothing can come before a Death Eater's duty to Lord Voldemort. In a way, it's almost like a life contract, binding themselves to their master and whatever he commands. Even though she was a follower, perhaps Narcissa didn't believe in the Dark Lord's cause enough to make such a commitment. She could have doubted what the overall point of his plan to purify the magical world really meant, or it's entirely possible that Lucius simply wouldn't allow his wife to make such a commitment when he himself was in such a prime position as Voldemort's second in command. And speaking of commitment, perhaps it was just that for Narcissa, commitment to her husband and only him. Could it be the simple fact that maybe she didn't wholeheartedly agree with Voldemort and what he brought to the table. That killing and torturing innocent people into submission and forcing them to accept his point of view was just plain wrong. Maybe Narcissa Malfoy was the Dark Lord's silent critic. Then there's the other point. The point of Voldemort not deeming Narcissa worthy enough to receive the Dark Mark. But hang on, Peter Pettigrew had the Dark Mark. What's the difference? Well, for me personally, it all comes down to sacrifice. Those who are willing to sacrifice everything for their master, that is the type of follower Voldemort wanted. It's the type he demanded, and Narcissa just didn't seem to fit that description, nor did she want to. In addition to this, Voldemort really didn't seem to care either, so it appears to me that it wasn't something that's garnered either party's attention. It also seems very coincidental too. Narcissa, although supporting her husband, was not happy about the fact that if it came down to it, Lucius will be expected to sacrifice his life in the name of the Dark Lord, if need be, because wearing the Dark Mark demanded it. She witnessed her sister's utter devotion to Lord Voldemort and the horrific crime she carried out in his name, and for Narcissa, it was not the route she wanted to take, especially due to the fact that it immediately incriminated anyone who was seen bearing the mark. Narcissa, however, stood by and watched, almost silently, without having to commit her life to a cause she would always deem second to the importance of her family. That is all for today's video everyone, thank you very much for watching. The giveaway of the first five ones is on December 23rd. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at instadeanj in order to participate. If you want to check out any more of my latest videos, they're on the left hand side, my second channel on the right hand side and my merch the bottom right. Thanks again guys and I hope you all have a great day.